as teachers, we are always busy. Let's be honest, if you're watching this and you're a teacher, and you know what I mean. We've got marking to do. We've got resources to create. We've got lesson plans to prepare for, along with all of the other multitude of things that might come our way, whether pastoral events, whether there are incidences at break time. We're pretty busy people. And being so busy, sometimes that does put a lot of strain and pressure on you when you know that you want to and you need to create your own resources. And whilst, yes, there are many great sites out there, such as Twinkle and all the other websites and resource sites that you can use, sometimes searching through those to find a piece of work, a, a waggle, a piece of guided reading, um, just a piece of work that you can model to your class can almost take longer than if you were to create it yourself. So I'm all for saving time and finding or creating or whatever resources that are one of high quality, two will aid in my teaching and three will save me time. That's where ChatGPT comes in. Now, I've only just started using it and already I have seen that it is and can be used as a superb resource for a teacher, especially when producing things like um, waggles, producing things like guided reading sheets and so on. I'm going to show you what ChatGPT does and I'm also going to show you how I've used it in class to save me time and to produce really high quality pieces of work. Let's get into it. Now I have been made aware that there are a couple of different websites that have this AI system in place and I was in communication with another member of staff earlier in the week and they did tell me about this specific teaching chat bot chat AI system. So it may be a case that there are better ones than the one I'm using, but I'm using one called chat.openeye.com. Um, free to sign up. You can pay if you want um, the plus or upgraded version, but the version that I'm using, the free version, offers me everything that I need for creating waggles and creating those guided reading sheets that I spoke about before. I've opened it up now, so let's have a look. So this is the website. I have saved it, so it is part of my favorites. And this here is what the home page and the home screen looks like. Now, all of my saved searches are down here. So you can see some of the things I've searched for linked with our topic of ancient Greece. Here are some um, additions. So it gives you some ideas as to what you can or cannot do. And here is your message box. So what you do is in here, you type your question or you ask ChatGPT to do something for you. And then it goes. So my waggle so far, I have got an opener, a build up and a climax or a battle scene for an ancient Greek myth. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me an ending. Write an ending for an ancient Greek myth. So once you have written your command in, write an ending for an ancient Greek myth after Perseus has defeated Medusa. You then come along and you press send in the same way that you'd send an email. The question is then in and already the AI is on its route. So ChatGPT is now writing me a Greek myth, or at least part of a Greek myth. Um, normally this takes a few moments and it will be about a page's worth. Now what I do is I copy it, paste it into Word, and then make any edits I need to. That could include removing inappropriate content if you feel like it is inappropriate for your children, your age, etc. It could be a adjusting some of the words in the vocabulary. Uh, it could be changing the font, making it bigger, smaller, adjusting the size of the page and so on. So I'm gonna edit this now. So this is now written, I have got my ending. There are a couple of ways of copying it across. You can press this little button here and it's now copied or you can copy it like so. Once you do that, open up Word down the bottom and then you can go ahead and copy it in. Control V and then it goes. So at this point, as I said before, I will now go through and I will edit it, I'll expand it so it's on a three so the children can go up and easily read it. I will highlight any key parts. Um, at the ending, obviously, then throughout my whole waggle, there are gonna be certain key areas that I want the children to include or key things that I want them to think about. Um, introduction of the character, adding certain vocabulary and so on. So I'll go through now, I'll edit this in Word and then I'll print it off and it will become part of my display, which I'll show you in just a moment. It's now all highlighted with key areas that I would like the children to think about. And now it is time to print.
So I have now printed it off with all the highlighted areas and to give you an idea as to what my working area is gonna look like. So I've used ChatGPT to create an opening, a build up and a climax. My ending will fit in at the bottom there and I've used window chalk pens to um, add some little comments around the outside, some notes so that the children can come up and use the resources whenever they want. So I've essentially told my children that that waggler on the board is my own myth. Obviously, I'm talking about Perseus defeating um, the Medusa, which is already a Greek myth, um, and it's one that is well modelled. But they can then come up when they're writing their own myths and planning them and editing them, and they can look at some of the key vocabulary that's within it. Um, they can use it as a model text, and it's just a really good way of them helping and supporting themselves and when they're writing their own work, basically. Uh, and ChatGPT has made that so much easier. You can see that within a few moments, I have created a ending, which if I'd have written it myself, it would have taken me a considerably more time. I'd have ended up having to edit several times, and I probably wouldn't have written so coherently as the AI has. Also, if you haven't used these, get yourself some of these chalk pens, especially if you, well, only if you have windows in your classroom, because uh, you can use the window as an additional working space. Um, they're really good. They wipe off easily. I've got vocabulary windows. I've got another vocabulary window over there, and this is my waggle. Just saves space on the working wall, and yeah, they're really useful. There we have it. Job done. Okay guys, so that is this video in a nutshell. Uh, like I say, ChatGPT is going to definitely become something I use on the regular. Um, I tried to ask it to draw me something and it rightfully corrected me to say that it is a chatbot and it doesn't draw things. Um, but nonetheless, for descriptive writing, for waggles, for guided reading pieces, it's been really useful. By all accounts, you can get it to write you lesson plans. You can get it to um, give you some ideas for lessons based on your key objectives. You can really play around with it. Um, I am going to be looking at it in a bit more detail and may well produce another video if I find that there are more useful things for it as well as just writing and creating resources like the ones I've just created for today. Um, but there we go. Give it a go. Chat AI is what I use, but there are many others I have no doubt. Um, and save yourself some time whilst creating quality resources. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button if you found this useful. If you've used ChatGPT in your classroom yourself, comment down below. Might be more helpful, you may know more about it than I do and have used it more effectively than I have today. Um, but yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all those great things, and I'll see you in the next one.